Well, Congress will ramp up its work on the next farm bill over the next few months. Indiana Senator Mike Braun met with farmers today to get their input at the state fair, and CBS horse Kristen Escal was there. About two and a half years after the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, Indiana farmers tell me they're still facing several challenges, including long wait times to get farming equipment that they need. That was among the issues discussed here at the state fairgrounds. If you would order a tractor today new, you're talking a, a year, a year and a half before you'll receive it. Scott Smith has been a farmer in Tipton County for 47 years, producing corn, soybeans, and tomatoes. He says right now, farmers are dealing with higher costs, labor shortages, and supply chain disruptions. We've already been warned that uh, you know, get your supplies in order because there could be a shortage. So uh, there's always the unknown supply that you need, the resource you need, and you need it today. Smith joined other farmers and advocates Friday to discuss ways Washington, D.C. can help with Senator Mike Braun. We now got more record high input costs with the threat that we may not even be able to get some of the fertilizers that come from, of course, Ukraine, Russia. Braun serves on the Senate Agriculture Committee, which will work on the next farm bill. He says he wants to make sure it supports farmers as they deal with current and upcoming challenges. He also wants to see the federal government do more to help improve the supply chain, though he acknowledges that likely won't be a simple solution. Maybe bring more of that back to the U.S or find other sources of supply that may not be so far away or at least in areas of such turmoil. Set up Indiana is Kendall Culp of the Indiana Farm Bureau says he also hopes to see a safety net for farmers, including more coverage under crop insurance. So if there is a disaster, Farm Bureau farmers can be kept somewhat whole so we can continue and be able to afford to plant a crop next year. It's really a food security issue is what it is. The current farm bill expires in September 2023. In Indianapolis, Kristen Escow, CBS 4 News. Kristen, thank you.